Hello and welcome to the Tech Seller. Nearly each and every individual who has contacted the PS5 and the all new DualSense controller is infatuated with it. What's more, a major piece of the motivation behind why is the thing that Sony has suitably named the Adaptive Trigger Experience. It's a basic tool that utilizes haptic input on a trigger that changes the degree of resistance. It's likewise one of those good thoughts that somebody ought to have considered quite a while in the past on the grounds that it truly has mesh. Consolidate it with an all better approach to make the controller rumble and you are in a winning area with regards to a game controller. The idea is somewhat difficult to get a handle on. Like for what reason would I need the resistance of my triggers to actually change? I get that. However, fortunately there are a couple of games previously set to utilize them in truly cool manners. Games like Fortnite utilize the new haptics to change the vibration dependent on what firearm you are holding, and the triggers themselves change dependent on your weapon. As well, PS5 exclusive death loop does likewise and even both the triggers when your firearm jams. Perhaps the coolest demo is the way NBA 2K21 expands the resistance as you get tired, making those three pointers and long passes more troublesome to make. I think you get the thought here, but at the same time, I am truly intrigued by how Sony is getting along with it. As YouTuber Tronics face shows in this video, utilizing all new equipment inside the dual sense to cause the extraordinary haptic experience to occur. The old tiny motors with a weight on the shaft are replaced with sealed motors that are likely off balance inside the unit for a much stronger and more precise rumble. A second motor controls trigger tension. Two things you will find in the video recount the entire story. A warm gear on the trigger itself and the vibration dampness on the screw openings. The new haptics engines can rumble hard enough that elastic and silicon dampness must be added to the remainder of the part to shield them from turning out to be armed when the controller goes into an all-out death rumble. These little engines are noteworthy. In the trigger assembly itself, you will locate a little motor joint that works the apparatus I referenced. You will likewise locate a little circuit board that goes about as a motor regulator for every exact change. When there isn't any force applied to these motors, the trigger works simply like the PS4 DualShock does and there is just spring tension included. In any case, when the motors are controlled, they control the length of movement and the measure of power expected to push the trigger down, giving genuine haptics to a section that never had it. These triggers are the feature of Astro's playroom. You can feel the strain as you pull on a rope to move all through levels. This spark in-game even changes you into a stack spring at a certain point where you feel the pressure of spring in the triggers. Astro's Playroom is obviously the best demo of this new controller at the present time. However, more games are coming that will utilize the DualSense. Fortnite is utilizing the haptic feedback on the DualSense to cause players to feel like they are holding various weapons and the triggers will likewise adjust for range weapons. The DualSense will obviously sparkle in first party PS5 exclusives. However, Fortnite, NBA 2K21, and the different titles show that there is some early third party interest in what this new controller is able to do. In the next event, that developers continue trying different things with the DualSense. At that point, PS5 owners could be going to encounter a totally different feel to the next gen of games. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and the like button if you like this video. Let me know your thoughts on the DualSense adaptive triggers in the comment section below. See you soon. Peace.